Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2011 Toyota Prius, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium platform style bike rack. So one of the big things that really separates this platform style rack from a lot of the others out there is how it's going to secure your bike. So it's gonna use two wheel hooks, so one in the back and one here in the front. And that's not the case with a lot of them. Most of them just have this one up here and a small strap or something on the back tire. But with two, you know your bike's gonna be very secure. This is going to work out real well too for those carbon bikes because we're not going to have any frame contact so we're not going to have to worry about damaging them. Now I will say because of this design we're able to do one thing that makes getting your second bike on much easier and that's we're able to actually offset this bike to one side or the other. A lot of times that second bike gets on there and interferes with your seat and other components. If that's the case what we can do is just Loosen up our wheel hooks. And roll the bike to one side. So we'll get a few extra inches here, lock it back down, and that'll give us that space we need for the second bike getting on the rack without interfering with the other components. Now one of the big questions we get asked with these platform style racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to the back of your Toyota. Well, this one does fold down even with the bikes on and allows us to do that. And one thing I like about it is it just has a simple lever here. We're not gonna have to worry about any pins or clips trying to reach back through there or using our foot, anything like that. This one's super simple. We'll push in on the lever. We can lower the rack. Then we're gonna have all the room we need to get whatever we might need in and out of the back of our Toyota. So we open up the hatch, get our stuff. Once we're done, we can close it up and just put the rack back into the upright position. So some of my things pretty cool too is each wheel tray is going to have an integrated lock. That way you can secure your bikes and you're not going to have to worry about keeping an eye on them so every time you go to the gas station or maybe get a bike to eat before or after the trail. So there's a little extra peace of mind there. With that being said, let's go ahead and take our bike off so we can have a better look at the rack itself. So we're just going to have these levers. The wheel hooks will come all the way down flat, so it really does give us a lot of room. When you take the second one off, you want to be sure to have a good grip on your bike because it's going to be the only thing holding it. So. You don't want it to fall over and hit our Prius. Swing that down. We're gonna have more than enough space to take our bike off. Now I do suggest, whenever you're not using the rack, just to put these arms back in this closed position. That way we don't have to worry about anything happening to them. Now something you do need to think about is that whenever we have the rack on the back of our Prius, it is going to extend the overall length of it. And to find out how much, we'll grab our tape measure. Let's go from the bumper, very edge of the rack. Looks like it's gonna be right at 28 inches. So it does take up a little bit of space and something you wanna keep in the back of your mind when you're pulling into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot. But whenever we're not using the rack, it can be stored upright. Pull down on that lever and flip it up. And in this position, we'll just measure from our Toyota sign here to the very edge. And that's gonna be about 14 inches. So with it like this, it shouldn't give you any problems when you do go to pull into your garage or that tight spot. So this rack is gonna work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Prius. But it also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. So it gives us some versatility there. It's also gonna have a integrated hitch pin, which is really nice because we're never gonna have to keep track of a separate hitch pin or worry about picking one up separately. This one always stays with the rack. You move back here, we're gonna have a knob. And when you tighten this down, it's going to act as a anti-rattle device, eliminating all the slop and playing the connection points. So that's really gonna help keep the ride inside of your Prius nice and quiet and provide your bikes a little more of a smooth ride as well. So to kind of give you an example how it works, say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, 
You can see the rack is going to move with our Prius and not on its own. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. So at the end of the day, one of my favorite platform style bike racks. It's super easy to use and I think it looks pretty awesome as well. And since it is made from aluminum, it's really lightweight. That way, if you just wanna leave it on the back of your Prius, you're not gonna have to worry about it dragging you down too much and affecting your fuel mileage. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium platform style bike rack on our 2011 Toyota Prius.